He's doing a job at the moment for Bosenhagen in the red Norwegian jersey at the end of that line. Uh, you see Brent Buchwalter uh, just behind him is Adam Blythe at the moment. Everyone holding back. The pace, you know, we talked about that, around about 60 kilometres. Well, we're not quite that sort of pace right now, but it starts to pick up yet again, and we've got some movement from dead centre here. Back up the front, I think it's going to fracture, is it? No, not quite. But back on Soleil wanting to get themselves into the picture right now. Well, uh, they're chugging away here. It's sort yourselves out time, and BMC have gone up front. Sky doing their familiar thing of riding the gutter right now. Ed Valt, he's a, a big, strong man. They will have actually practiced in their mind which side of the road they need to be on to actually get round here. Best place is on the right, as they take the big right-hander here. Nice and smooth. Well, uh, energy saved, is distance gained, and that's exactly what's happened to Sky here. And everyone else is uh, kind of chugging away to get up there. Nicky Terpstra, the uh, Dutch champion, also just bedding himself in nicely. Uh, Bondit Bariani of Veloci still want to be part of this and that's a good effort by them they get themselves into a safe place and back on Soleil also suddenly join the party two to go if you're going to go for it it's going to be soon I've got to tell you Cannondale suddenly realised that they may well have missed the train uh, they start chugging on the right hand side in the green with the stripe two to go there confirmation of that this is at the back don't forget and it's a long string out now the pace is absolutely rocketed and Orishka Green Edge are in for this Baden Cook and Alan Davis uh, what's Krupp it's got as well the Lithuanian we'll see uh, they at the nose right now round they come all the way around this one it's a straight line of flick flack first right then left and they're running out of time now goodness me it's been compressed good and proper here and these guys at the back are just spectators so the pace is up who's going to fly first no wind to speak of whatsoever. Orica Green is doing a fantastic job. It's now recovery time for Katusha, who are trying to get themselves back into this one. And uh, AG2R also, and I am there as well. Oh, elbows all over the place. Big, big uh, push over to the right. Uh, whoever was on the right-hand side, it looks like it was Sky, will probably have gained out of that. Neda Ventura also coming up towards the front, and the leader's jersey is bedded within it. It's a mess at the moment. I can see Mark Cavett has just got a, a, a sign of him, but it looks like his Omega Pharma team are not there with him and Argos Shimano lighted up Dagan Kolb tries to hit out here will that head start nodding we will see uh, we're losing ground quicker and quicker here there's a lot of argy bargy plenty of elbows and we scan to see where Mark Cavendish is and at the moment I just can't pick him out there wow 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 uh, Orica Green had just sort of look at each other here and Argos Shimano could be a great result for them if John Dagenkolb gets himself sorted out. They're still weaving all over the place. Cannondale and Viviani start to pick it up right now. What have you got, fellas? And Mark Cavendish suddenly appears. He's on the back end of uh, Bosenhagen. Bosenhagen drifts out, trying to find some space. Is there enough time for them to make it here? We're inside the last 200 metres. Bosenhagen on the right of your screen. It's Cavendish on the left. Is it going to be between those two? Oh, it's a, the, the line almost upon us. Cavendish hits the front. Nearly there. Oh, and he delivers a big, huge grin that he's got. Bosenhagen on the drift there. And Orica Green Edge just edged out of it towards the end. What a shame for them. Cropis didn't quite.